Hi everyone. Welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies and another rust tip for you. I'm going to take these. Well, I'm going to do one of them for you on camera. But I'm going to take these and rust them up to where they look like that. And I'm going to show you how stinking simple this is. Because I just kind of fell into it a while back. And I'm telling you, if you want real looking rust, this is the ticket. And it, it's not that expensive to do either. So what I did here, I started out by painting these flat aluminum Tamiya's. Let me dig it up for you here. XF16 flat aluminum. I let that dry for three or four days or so. I don't know, until they were dry. And then I hit them with Tamiya's panel liner to get them to this point. And that shows off all the accents and everything. And it really gives you a good baseline on what to do next. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Tamiya's Weathering Master Set. Uh, this is set C. And to be honest with you, on cars and stuff, I pretty much only use two of them. And you can tell I use the rust and I use the silver. I'll come back in sometimes with the, the uh, gunmetal, but not a lot. But tonight we're just going to use the rust and the applicator that came with it. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, I say that all the time, don't I? I'm going to take the applicator and I'm going to dig in, okay? We're going to get deep into this. Load that thing up and then we're going to come in here and we're going to go nuts. All right, just like that. I don't know if I can do this sideways and show you. Let me do this one, okay? We'll work on this one. I'm going to bring it up as close as I can. And this is all I'm doing, all right? I'm just banging this stuff home. Get some more, because that's not enough. And we're going to get it down and try to get it down in there. Because this is going to this is gonna make the rust look like rust. All right? So there we go. And I'll tell you what, to be honest with you, that looks pretty good. But now we'll come back with that. And we'll take the Tamiya panel liner. Now, I already shook this bottle up because I've used it quite a bit tonight. But we'll take it. And I'm going to take as much off as I can. And then I'm going to come around here and watch how this takes off in here. And just turns that, that rust. Make sure that's all off of there. Into more rust and it doesn't what it does is it doesn't run away and it takes that rust color and it spreads out see there now you still got all that good detail in there and if you go oh shoot that's too much put your finger in there and take it away and then you can come back and redo it load up in here and I'll tell you what one thing that if you do this now on my lap look at how that looks I mean son of a buck I'm gonna bring this up to you look at that I mean from from this to that to that in in a minute and a half come on man that's <laughs> worth the money for the for the uh the Tamiya Master Weather and the Tamiya Panel Liner in my book right there. Because it's just boom, and you're done. But I want to show you what else using this same thing. Now, y'all watched my weathering video on the undercarriage. I'm going to do this same thing down around this gas tank and in the back here, too. But I'm not going to do that on, on the video tonight. But what I did is I did that same dry brush. And if you look at my last update... You'll see it for the, uh, I think it's update number four for the uh, 71, the Plymouth 71 Duster 340 kit by AMT. I showed that I did a dry brush on my engine. Now I came back after that with this because this is going to be a 10 year old, pretty beat up car when it's done. And uh, look at this engine. Look at that. How 
amazing is that? I did it on the top. I got the bottom. Now it's still a little bit wet, but I got the bottom here. This will dry a little bit flatter, but it'll still stay that oily, shiny look. I got it running down the sides, around where the, the uh, PCVs are, the oil fill, around the front, down the front, and into the, just everywhere. I mean, I, I dirtied this thing up. I was having fun is what it was. But look at the transmission here. Let me turn it around. Look at the transmission. Now, I, I ran it like I had a little little bit of a leak here, and then it came down around the bottom and puddled up right here, too. The oil pan over here, down the block. You can make this stuff run for you, man, and it's simple as that to do. Look at these exhaust. This exhaust took me as long as it took me to do that tire. Here's another one. Get you there. there we go. Now I did drill a hole into that one. Remember I told you I was going to drill a hole in this kit. And I uh, took a knife and just kind of jagged it out a little bit. And then what I'm going to do next after the, after the panel liner dries is I'm going to hit some of that with some black pastel. And I showed you my pastels. They're Hobby Lobby pastels. This has lasted me a good 10 years. So it's not something you're going to buy and, and it's going to be gone and you're going to have to keep buying it. No, it lasts a good while. But look at that exhaust, man. There you go. But anyhow, quick rust tip. I am Mark. This is Grandpa Mark's Hobbies. You guys have a great night.